guys, this is Ken May. We're going to talk a bit about Meterpreter and Metasploit. Metasploit is an incredibly powerful framework that's used by both hackers and security researchers alike in order to both remotely compromise systems and also to test them for vulnerabilities. You can do amazing things with it, such as uh, exfiltrating files, you can gain control of the webcam, you can copy passwords from the hashes and memory, all sorts of nefarious things. You can use it to pivot and move to other systems as well. So for this demo, I've got a Windows 10 virtual machine. I'm uh, your average end user, and I've got some critical, important information and files here, passwords and payroll data in a very easy to get to spot. I do have antivirus disabled on this VM for this lab. I'll do another VM later uh, lab where we will actually have antivirus enabled, but for this lab, we're gonna go ahead and disable it just to make things easier. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually create our malware here. So we're gonna use a built-in module called MSF Venom. We're gonna create a meterpreter shell we can create different kinds of shells, including the regular DOS type prompt. You can do PowerShell, you can do Bash, but Meterpreter is the native one to Metasploit, and it's really powerful. And we're gonna create a reverse TCP connection. I'm gonna program this so that way it looks for the IP address of my attacking machine in this specific port right here. We're gonna output it as an EXE file. And it only takes just a moment for it to generate that. While it does that, we have to think, how am I gonna get this to my end user? And here's our malware right here. Well, normally I would send them a phishing email and get them to click on a link, have it point to a website, and they would download the file because I tricked them into thinking it was some kind of an update or a file that they wanted to actually access. So in this case, what we're going to go ahead and do is just run a simple web server, a module in Python called Simple HTTP Server on port 3124. From our Windows box, we're going to go ahead and open up our web browser. And we're going to browse to that same IP address on that port. Again, this would just be a link someone would normally click on. And here we are. Let's go ahead and get ready to run our malware. Now, before we actually run it, it needs to connect to something. So we're going to open up Metasploit. And we are going to create a listener. It's going to listen for that connection coming back from the compromised machine. So we're going to start off by choosing which exploits we're going to be using here. We're going to use the exploit multi-handler because it can handle different types of connections. We're going to choose the payload that we're going to feed back, which is going to be Windows Meterpreter Reverse TCP. We're going to set the local host of our IP address. And we're going to set the local port for the one of our choosing. And let's go ahead and run it. So now we have our reverse TCP handler running, ready to serve up that interpreter shell. We're gonna go ahead and click the link well, let's go ahead and run it anyway. Now I'm the end user. I don't really notice anything happening. It's thinking, but hmm, didn't seem like anything happened. Meanwhile, over here, Meterpreter Session 1 opened. And I can see the files right there. I can copy them directly to my attacking machine. I can do all sorts of exploits to elevate my permissions to potentially be an administrator, capture from the webcam, do all kinds of nefarious things. And that's our really quick and dirty Meterpreter slash Metasploit demo.